Today we're going to work on a 02 International School Bus. We're going to do rear pads and rotors. It's a hydraulic brake system. The complaint is that the ABS light is on and that's due because the rotors are rusted up and they can't ring the tow ring. First thing you gotta do is remove the tires. There's one tire removed. Now I'll take my impact gun and put on the stud. And now I gotta remove all these. Now that I have the tires off, I would like to compress the piston. And what I want to do is, is put my screwdriver in between the pad and the rotor. I want to hammer it in there and then I want to pry against the rotor, forcing the pistons back into the caliper. Kind of like that. Now this will only work if you don't plan on using reusing the pads again. Now I'm going to pry my screwdriver against the pads to put the pistons back in the caliper. So I took my pry bar here and Put it in there in place of the screwdriver to press the pistons back in the caliper. Now I'm gonna take the bottom caliper bolt off and swing the caliper up. So I used a 13 16th wrench and I removed the bottom caliper bolt. I took an old clothes hanger and cut it and I swung the caliper up to kind of get it out of the way. Now, get the brake pad out. Lay it down. Get this brake pad off. Okay, I got both brake pads off. Now I need to take the four Torx bolts right here, 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 and here off. And they are a, I believe a T10, yeah, T10 Torx to get those off. Now with that bracket out of the way, the next thing to do is remove the axle. So grab your 15, 16 socket and remove all these. Okay, now I got all those loose. Gotta get this axle out of here. So what you do is pick your hammer. And then your gear will come out. And slide the axle all the way out. Okay, now that I have the axle out, what I have to do is remove this three and a half inch nut. Well, there's a keeper in behind here, you can barely see it. And what it does, it keeps the nut from turning loose so your wheel don't fall off. So the first thing I do is bend these tabs back to this keeper. Okay, loosen up with my ratchet. Now I take it, I'm gonna place it right here on a rag. Now you reach in here, get this keeper out. Sometimes if you have to, you can use a magnet, which I might have to go get. Alrighty. So now I got this lock out. And you can see the tabs that uh you bend to keep it from keep the nut from turning loose. So I'll put that on the rag over here. Now there's another nut in there. 
So I gotta loosen that. All right, put that nut down here. Now, you see there, that's the back of the wheel bearing. 